Welcome to Nationwide. Now, as part of National Heritage Week, we've come here to the old fair day in Tubbacurry in County Sligo. Now, this day is the highlight of their Craft and Heritage Festival. And it's the 35th year that this festival has been on. The five-day festival carries on the tradition of the fair day of years past. It is a treasure trove of activities, from heritage and artisan demonstrations showcasing traditions from bygone days to concerts and fun family activities. Where's the party? Where's the party? Tony, the crowds are making their way in here for the Trouble Curry Old Fair Day. A lot of work. A lot of work, an awful lot of work. Long hours, a, a very busy year, um, but yeah, thankfully, Blue Skies, we're here today now and looking forward to getting the, the whole show across the line. It's amazing, everybody loves the animals, but it's not just animals. No, it's cross heritage, multiple displays. You know, we've got the Gardaí's, you know, celebrating their 100th year. We have a lot of volunteers. We have Sligo Volunteer Centre, Mayo Volunteer Centre, they've amalgamated today in the hall. So yeah, we've, like, all up through the town, we've had like, chainsaw guys, you know, potteries, everything you can think of from an old craft and heritage perspective, we have it here today. How many people involved, or is that too hard a question? Because you're all volunteers. Um, I know from a, like, a volunteer point, we probably have, I think it goes to 250, 300 volunteers. We have a committee, we have, we have 12 in the committee here. Um, like there's people that you know just appear in the morning, it's, it's brilliant, like, and we're always very grateful and thankful for the volunteers because they're a huge, huge part of this. Like. Now, who do you expect here today? It's not just people from Tupper Curry or the county. It's no, Michael. no, no, it's like we have people genuinely worldwide. I was sitting having my dinner earlier on in Murphy's, or, sorry, last night in Murphy's, and uh, a guy from New York sat down next to me, and we had a good conversation. And he's actually here for the fair, like so. Like he's a, he's a winner for the, the furthest travel at the moment. Like, I'm sure there are further afield. This year, the fair celebrates its 35th anniversary. But we were here, yes, nationwide, we're here when they were celebrating their 25th anniversary. Until Michael O'Donnell court up in our The Old Fair Day in Tubbercurry is an annual gathering to celebrate some of Ireland's rich rural history. For hundreds of years, the Fair Day was at the core of Irish rural life, and this is a celebration of those ways. And if the crowds here are anything to go by, then there's still great interest in how things used to get done. This fair in Tubbercurry goes back to the 1800s. If people get a feel for the way it was in the past, they want to keep the traditions going. So if people, if there is a need for this, if the crowds keep coming, we see that there is a need to the, put on the displays and source our craft stalls. We have craft stalls here that come from all over the country. We cannot source them all locally because generations have passed on. So we have people coming from Cork, Kerry, uh, as far as way as uh, over overseas, uh, displaying their crafts here. Any ladies would like a little bit of a trim now? Well, we have the lads here. We could do short back and sides. Putting smiles on people's faces plays a big part in the day's activities. And where else but at a country fair would you find three generations of one family, some clippers and a flock of fairly cooperative sheep, all harking back to the time when entire communities would gather together to serve the common good. Three or four neighbours would go out and gather the mountain in and all the sheep would be in of it and then the neighbours would go from one to the other. It should be typical of a mehel now that so much talk about, the mehel system. So all the neighbours would club together at, in, one, in one farmyard today and another farmyard maybe in two days' time and the shearing was finished, which left it easy for, left it easy for on everybody really when there was, when there was a gang in it. Uh, one thing that I that I wanted to bring on board as being a past chairman was actually put it in writing exactly what's happened over the last 25 years. And basically what we did was went out into the countryside, um, old jobbers, uh, farmers, shopkeepers, and uh, got them to you know, talk about what they did 25 years ago and further back than 25 years, obviously. Um, came together very well with the help of all the pe local people around the place as well. And that's basically what the paper was built on. So, with community spirit alive and well in Tubbercurry, an exhaustive fair day draws to an end. 
But safe to assume, it won't be too long before the townspeople come together again in preparation for 2011, where an even bigger and better fair day will be the talk of the town. That was the Tubba Curry Fair Day celebrating its 25th anniversary. Today it is celebrating its 35th anniversary. I'm here at the Craft and Heritage Village at the old Fair Day in Tubba Curry in County Sligo. All I know is I'm looking for the woman who makes butter and her name is Siobhan. So Siobhan, you're, so, you're mesmerised. You're so, it looks so therapeutic you're just standing there yes, turning yes, yes. butter. Very therapeutic now. Is that all there is to it? That's all there is to it, basically. basically. Okay, well I give it a go. You give it a go. I'll give you this thin jar here. Okay. And we'll put in a little drop of cream. And tell me, where did you learn to do this? I've learned this from my mother. Ah. Oh. Going back a few years. So I'm guessing this goes here, is that it? That goes in there. And did she always make butter at home? She always made oh. butter, always made butter. So just... Because we, we were oh. from a farm and we had our own cows and milk and butter. And what's the difference between real butter and bought butter? Not that bought butter isn't real, but no. what's the difference between homemade butter? Uh, well, there's no additives, heart and salt. Oh, you're going very slow. Should yeah. I go slow? Well, not too fast. A, a steady rhythm. A steady oh. rhythm, yeah. yeah that's, uh, it's like yoga. Yeah. Just close your eyes. Yes. yes uh, this is the finished product here. That is here. the finished product. Can I have some? You can have some. Of course. This is one we made earlier. Yeah. I did <laughs> it. And your teeth have to, have to sink into the butter. It's, it's no good otherwise. If the, your teeth are... I think my... It's so thick. It's so thick. It's so thick. <laughs> Really nice. Joe and John, hard at work. Now, I saw my grandfather do this. Is it difficult? Here, give it a go. Here we go. Give so it a bit of a shake there first on the as you put it on. Like that? that? Yes, like that, and that way it won't slip off. And give it a bat down. Oh, like that? Yes. Okay. And why the shake, John? What you're shaking is the van we stuck together. It's nice and loose, and it gets, settles down then, okay. and it won't, uh, the top won't slip on you. This here is a quern stone for grinding grain. Quern. Quern stone, yeah. And this came from West Clare. Uh, I say up around Lascano, but when I am. Um, this is dated 1847, this quernstone. So it's wow. very old, yeah. God. And uh, the whole and it thing says about, it there, doesn't it? Yes, it says it there. Yeah, there's a the mark there now. 1847. And, and there's wee markings here, it's hard to make it out, but that's his signature. The person who ever made it, that's their mark for making and them. So you tell me now, show so me how you, it works. So what we do is pull it around. See the way that it's beveled up here a bit. So the grain works its way out to the outside. See the way it's slanted up here. 